be in details, we're looking at external dependencies here. We're going to create an alternative provider to the simple provider that's got to use Rhino. Rhino is a JavaScript implementation from uh, Mozilla. So we look for Rhino in Mozilla. And let's take the tutorial as an embedding tutorial. A quick glance indicates that the library is easy to use. So we're just going to go with it. So the next step is going to be to find this library on Maven Central. Search.maven.org is the place to go. We look for Rhino. And the first entry is the one we're looking for. We copy the GAF, the group artifact and version. And we enter that in the ext build.mvn file. That's the file where we have to build dependencies. And they're entered in the same format. That gives us a artifact in the repository view. We can take a look. It only has export packages, so it's a very nice library. No imports, no external dependencies. So we're going to create a, a new provider project for our Rhino implementation. So we call it com.example.eval.rhino.provider according to a naming scheme. Check the uh, proper execution environment. We call the implementation the Rhino evil impl. And check that we do not create a module file. Finish. And that gives us a proper setup, so we can now change the source code. We will first implement the evil interface. So we are the same service as our simple implementation. Clearly that's not on our build path, so we need to add that. And when we are there, we can also add the Rhino uh, dependency. We can double click and you can search. We save it and we can go back to our implementation. That one can now be resolved. And then we add the implemented methods. And then we basically have to copy and paste the code that we saw on the uh, Rhino embedding tutorial. And then we have to check if the result is a number. If it is, we return the double value. If it isn't, we just return a, not a number. Uh, the next step is we would like to change the go go command of the simple provider that it uses a scope of simple. And we can distinguish between the, the different uh, providers. We copy the go go command and then we copy it to our Rhino evaluation implementation and we call that one Rhino, the scope. So we need to import or we need to add that bundle. We can do that from the import statement. And then the next phase is we go to our playground and we will run the both providers. We have one provider already there. We drag the Rhino provider, we resolve. We can indeed see that the Mozilla Rhino was added as a dependency and it was dragged in by our Rhino provider. We save it and we run it, which gives us a framework. All bundles seem to be there, so now we can do Rhino Evil and we can do Simple Evil. Thank you for watching.